Uh, my mother and my grandfather, they, they're Japanese, obviously. <laughs> uh, and, and the reason I tell you that is because well, the Japanese, they don't have a word that means identity, which for a good part of my life, I, I was trying to find for myself. And, for that portion, I, I, I couldn't find out who that was. I didn't really know who I was. Until I met you, Sonny. And when I first saw you, I saw someone who was brave. It was funny. <laughs> he was honest. And true. To himself what was in his heart. And as I got to know this man, I saw something else. I saw those feelings that I'd had, those feelings that I'd, I'd been hiding. They weren't wrong. And uh, it was through our friendship, and then later, my love for you, that I was able for the first time in my life to look in that mirror and, and see who I really was. When I was four years old, <laughs> I knew what I wanted to do, but it was only until very recently that I found out who I wanted to be. I want to be the man who spends the rest of his life with you, Sonny Kiriakis. It's true that I was able to see who you were before you could, or before you could admit it. But you were the one who saw how good we could be together. And that was before I had any clue at all. And now we're standing here, Paul, in front of the most important people in our lives. And they all know, and you know, that I have been in love before, and I lost that love. And for a while, I was lost. And I didn't want to be found by anyone. You helped me find my way back from a broken heart. You showed me that I could love again, and I'm so happy that it's you that I fell in love with. <laughs> And as we begin this journey again, I know that no matter which direction I turn, you are gonna be there for me, like you've always been. And Paul, I want you to know from the bottom of my heart, there is not another living soul on this planet that I would rather be standing here with than you.